So Lolo, what is our topic for today? Drum roll. We are bringing you our DIY spa kit today. Ooh. So go ahead, grab your pen, grab your paper, and let's take these notes. girl dr carrie and lolo the ceo and this is you, you can, can have it all today is diy day dr carrie what are we diying uh-oh we got some sugar scrubs Ooh. we got some salt scrubs and we're making a yoga mat cleaner that can also be used as a car air freshener are y'all ready let's get into it so lolo sugar or salt well you know i'm glad you asked they are both very good for your skin they both help to exfoliate your skin that leaves your skin nice and soft and smooth like a baby's bottom you know some people need that on their heels come on this also can be used on the heels some of y'all got some bad heels i've seen them mm. i'm not trying to clown you but some of y'all need to take care of them okay <laughs> and, if, and you know salt and sugar it works all over the body so there's not a body part that you can't miss now the biggest difference between sugar scrubs and salt scrubs is that salt is a little harsher than sugar so sugar the grains are a little bit finer than they are in salt i probably shouldn't have said harsh but you get the picture okay. so today we are going to make a sugar and a salt scrub so dr carrie let's go ahead and get our container okay i'm gonna use this one right. and it doesn't matter you can use metal you can use a plastic bowl you can use a glass bowl whatever you have is good to go all let's right do this we got our spoons we have our measuring cup. I have Epsom salt and pink Himalayan salt. Come Did on, you? Pink Himalayan? Yes, I'm telling you. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, no. Please do not use table salt. There are no detoxifying properties in table salt. Hmm. You got to get you some pink Himalayan. <laughs> so, for our salt scrub, I'm going to use some Epsom salt. And I have my measuring cup. It is one fourth cup. Okay. And we're just gonna scoop it and scoop. Or actually we're just gonna pour a little bit in there. If you go over, it's fine. It's it's not that big of a deal. You just really want your body to be exfoliated. Okay. Cool. So close that on up. And my favorite thing about this is that you can use any type of oil you like. Okay. Extra virgin olive oil is my favorite oil. Like, I love this oil. It works great for my skin, for my hair, just all over the place. And you can cook with it, too. Oh. Yeah. All right, all right. Okay. Little we help, see who little, cooking. Little help tip. Okay. We see who cooking. <laughs> she don't be cooking, y'all. I could. Oh, look. That's another video. <laughs> Anywho. Come on. So my bowl is empty over here. All right. Period. Always. <laughs> I got something in my bowl. Okay. Jojoba oil. Jojoba oil is really good. Uh, you may call, want to call it Jojaba. I call it Jojaba. It's okay. Jojaba. If you call it Jojaba, it's okay. <laughs> I have a PhD and I messed up on it. Okay. So it's Jojoba. 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 I ain't. <laughs> Jehovah. <laughs> no, no, no. Jojoba. <laughs> like Jehovah. Oh, okay. my goodness. <laughs> So jojoba oil is really good for helping to soften the skin, mm -hmm. replenish, renourish, all that good stuff. Cool. And today's essential oils are brought to you by TLC. I don't know if y'all can see that. Okay, yep, yep, yep. TLC essential oils. Thank you, Jack Fatlin. Really great. I got the mind, body, and spirit kit. There you go mind body and spirit kit and it comes with peppermint mm. lavender and lemon Ooh. and like i said lavender is really really good when you're getting ready to go to sleep okay. at night uh get you some lavender drops 
So for this one, I think I'm gonna use a little peppermint. Come on, peppermint. So you're gonna add anywhere from, I don't know, 10 to 15 drops, whatever your heart desires, you know? Come on. Flick that wrist. <laughs> <laughs> Period. All right, cool. And then we're also going Ooh, to add- smells so good. Mm. Mm. I like jojoba oil. So I'm going to put one fourth cup of jojoba oil in here. Ooh, come on, jojoba. <laughs> jojoba. <laughs> <laughs> This is gonna be a nice one. And I'm just gonna take my spoon, make sure I get all my earl out of here. I'm not trying to miss any of that, okay? And then all you do is just mix it together. Let me see. Can y'all see this? I was like, show them the bowl. Let's see what they, they see what's in it. Can you see there you that? go. Mix, mix, mix. There we go. Yeah. And you want to get you kind of, um, most people say mason jars, but if you don't have a mason jar, it's completely fine. Just get you something that has a lid on it that you can screw on really tight to keep the air out of it, which is going to keep the oil um, and the sugar or the oil and the salt together okay. and to keep it from separating. That way you can use it multiple times. So literally, y'all, that's it. You can add, you can take away. You you really don't have to measure. You can eyeball. Um, some people don't like when it's more oily mm -hmm. than salty or sugary. Okay. So if it's too oily for you, all you just need to do is add you some more salt or some more sugar okay. until you get the scrub feel that you want. So I'm just gonna pour this in here. Like so, like that, like Auntie Tab. Come said. on, Auntie Tab, shout out to Tab. In the shot now, I see you. Oh, that looks awesome. Boom, there it is, y'all. A Ooh. salt scrub. There it is. Go ahead, round of applause for Lolo the CEO. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more salt in here. Yeah. Just to kind of balance that out. And if you want to, you can even mix them in your container so that's less you have to clean up at the end of the day. That's a win. That's always a win. So there. There's your scrub. Put your top on it. And call it a day. Boom. Now let's get into this sugar scrub. All right, y'all, now we are gonna do a sugar scrub. Now this is the very first time that your girl, Dr. Carrie, is doing this. So bear with me, okay? Mm -hmm. So we are going to start off with, what is it, a one cup of sugar, mm -hmm. but for video purposes, you can also use brown sugar as well, okay? So let's get this sugar in here, okay? A little white sugar. Now, for some of you out there, all right, this is one four cup, so I need four of these to make it into a cup. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. All right, that's one. Let's top it off. That's two. Put a little bit more. I was like, don't legs. be skipping on three uh, now. <laughs> three. <laughs> and there we go. A little four. Okay. I'll close it up for Thank you. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Okay, next up, we're going to add one fourth cup of our coconut oil. Okay. So I'm gonna put that, hold that for me, Lolo. Thank gotcha, you. Girl. Help me out a little bit. Make sure that's good. Okay. Flatten that off. I don't want to waste this coconut oil, but it look good. All right. Probably should use that. Uh oh, uh oh. Come on, coconut oil. All right. We are also going to add some ground cinnamon. Now it is one teaspoon, okay, but I cook, so I'm just gonna do a little, eh, eh, eh. There we go. Might be a little more, but you know how we do. <laughs> well, did you know that cinnamon is an anti-inflammatory? Mm -hmm. So if you're, if you have swelling in your hands or maybe in your feet, this would be, cinnamon is really good to ingest and to use uh, topically. Uh, on your hands or on your feet, okay. as well as turmeric. Turmeric is a natural skin lightener, but you gotta be careful because you will be looking orange out here in these streets, okay? So that, uh, that that's all you, uh, 
That's all you need of that turmeric, all right? Uh, that's, that's it. I'm also going to add, shout out to TLC and Jack Fallon. We're going to add some lavender to this one, okay? Mm. Mm, let's see how that's that smells. That's going to be real good before you get ready to go to sleep. You mm -hmm. just like relaxed and calm. Ooh, that's most good. Okay, don't be using it. <laughs> hey, you said like 10, 15. <laughs> you did like 20, 30. It's all right, it's all right, it's all right. All right, and then we just go mix it. All right. Then you go break up that coconut. Yeah, oil gotta there. break it up. It's a little thick right now, so gotta. This was a little bit tougher for me, y'all. Come on. One thing you can do with the coconut oil is also heat it up oh. and turn it into a liquid. Okay. Uh, which would help it uh, move a little easier throughout the sugar. But it's okay. I like a little challenge. Yeah. It's okay. I mean, and that's okay, a scrub. Sure. That's a scrub. Yeah. I can't wait to try this out. Yeah. That's nice. I feel like this one I made a little bit more, so it looks like I could use a couple of these versus just one mm -hmm. to really get all of it together. Well, thank goodness we got some extra containers. Okay. I have a question, though, and maybe y'all might have it, too. So since it's a little bit thicker, is it even possible to add, like, olive oil or the... Uh, Jehovah or the <laughs> the, the, the Hohaba or whatever that they want. <laughs> yeah, so to it to kind of mix it up a little bit better. Yeah, you definitely can. You can use any carrier oil. Carrier oils are usually your lighter oils, um, like jojoba, extra virgin, castor oil, maybe even grapeseed oil. So just kind of whatever good. works with your body, it does. It smells really good. Yeah, I was like, it smells good. It smells I think really we're good. good. For the most part, you think I need you to make sure? a little bit more? Add Let's a little add bit. a little bit. Little Let's bit. add a little. Mm. Ooh, that was a, that was a big little. That wasn't a big little. That wasn't a big little. Okay. We'll mix this up, and then we'll put it in our containers, and then y'all, we're going to have us a sugar scrub, okay? Yes, and then we're going to go wash our hands. Yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> Period. All right, is that good enough? That's good enough. All righty. Got those for me. Let's get those in there. Boom. Oh, let's hold it up a little bit so that A little bit. All right, can y'all see that? Okay. Should be good enough on that one. A little bit more? I think you add a little bit more in there. Come on, Team Lee. All right. <laughs> Boom. And this was really simple. Like, it didn't take too long, and then boom, you got several uses out of this. Boom. Uh-oh, got a little, got a little coming off the side over there. Let me slow down. Boom. And let's get the last little bit out of there. Go like that. And then boom. We got us a sugar scrub. Put that now, top on it. Let's go to the sink. All right, so Dr. Carey is going to try our salt scrub and I'm going to try the sugar scrub. So first things first, we're gonna turn on our water. We're gonna open up our container. We'll see how good Lolo did. Baby, I'm the babe. Okay, we're gonna wet our hands and then we're gonna scoop some out of the container. Like that? Yeah, you could probably scoop a little bit more. There you go. And then we're just gonna massage. Try to make sure you go in a circular motion, just like Dr. Carey is doing. Make sure you get in between your fingers. Yeah, there you go. Get all in there, get around your cuticle area and everything. Keep working it in. You wanna go anywhere from like 30 to 45 seconds. So, you know, you can sing your ABCs twice. That counts as well. So how does it feel right now? Feels good. Mm. I love this. Mm. What does it smell like? It smells good. Feels good. Like even with the oil in it, it doesn't feel oily. Okay. okay. That um that salt really does help out a lot. So yeah, let's all right. rinse it off. Rinse it off. And then you also want to make sure that you have a towel. You don't want to use a paper towel because you're gonna dry out everything that's all the moisture you just put back in your hand. So you're gonna grab your towel, and you're just gonna blot. There you go, your hands. All right, so now it's my turn. Wait, well how do you feel? How do your hands feel? Feels good, feels smooth, oh my goodness. 
I love it. Kind of like when you go get a massage mm-hmm. and how they massage your hands at the end of it. Definitely feels really good. I nice. love it. All right. Now, a really cool thing is to also add some sort of oil afterwards to retain that moisture in there as well. So just a couple of drops of body oil, or you can use extra virgin olive oil, coconut oil, anything of that nature to keep that moisture in your hands and get them shining bright like a diamond. Look at that. Yeah. Yes. Come on. Come on. This is good. Thank you, Lolo. You're welcome. Now it's my turn. Alrighty now. Now it's Lolo's turn. Let's turn that water on. Mm-hmm. Get it going with your hands. And let's check out this sugar scrub. Alright, so she wet her hands. I'm gonna grab a couple scoops of this. in the baby's bottom. Come on. This is an amazing scrub. It's very simple to make. So now she's going to turn the water off, dry her hands. Thank you. Boom. She said a lot earlier. Let's blot it. Right? And then you're going to add some essential oil. Eucalyptus. Okay. And this is really good right before bedtime. Yeah. Two, three. Okay. Three drops. Ooh, you see that shine. And there you have it. You see you see the shine. I see that shine. Woo! Hey everybody, we are back. We have our sugar and our salt scrubs all on our hands. Now it is time to make the yoga mat spray. And it can also be used as a car air freshener. Mm. So let's get into it. First things first, I'm the realist. No, I'm just playing. First things first. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get you a spray bottle. Um, 16 ounce, 12 ounce, whatever you can find in your house, go to Walmart, your local Walmart, local H-E-B grocery store, whatever, grab you a spray bottle. Okay. You're going to need a funnel next. You're going to need some witch hazel. All right. Whatever brand you prefer, that's your business. Period. All right. So we're going to fill this up and this is one fourth cup of witch hazel. Okay. I like to use the funnel just to make sure everything goes in here okay and then i'm gonna pass this to dr carrie so she can do hers next you're gonna need some lavender all right i'm gonna drop anywhere from like two to three for you no i'm just kidding anywhere from 10 to 15 drops peppermint also same thing 10 to 15 Some lemon. Mm-hmm. 10 to 15. Okay. And then you're also going to need some tea tree oil, 10 to 15 also. Mm. So fresh. Like these smells are so good. Yeah, and I think that's really like the reason why they say to use essential oils because if you think about your yoga mat your feet are on there your hands are on there sometimes even your face is on there that is true and your hair yeah you know like if you like me 
I'm down with the tube. You know, I'm going to just watch and do my yoga at the tube. But if you like her and you want to spend a little monies and get your little memberships, they also have harsh chemicals there, you know, yeah, or the true. paper towels. You don't know what fibers are in the paper towels. So you just got to kind of start being cautious of what's going on your body okay. or what you're doing in that sense. And also, like, yoga is just good to just relax you, get you back centered. So just these smells alone, I'm already like, I can't wait to go to my next yoga class to, like, put this on my mat and then, boom, I got yes. me a yoga spray. So then you're going to get you some water and you're going to fill it up. Ooh. Go like ahead. So, like that. Right. Fill yours up. And then you're just going to screw your top on. Boom. And give it a nice little shake. Make sure everything mixes very, very well together. Um, as you all know, oil and water don't mix unless it's in your hair, but that's a different story for a different time. But oil and water don't mix. So if you have this sitting before you use it, just make sure you shake it up real good. Spray your mat down before you start. Spray your mat down after you get done and you're good to go. You don't have to get a spray bottle exactly like this. You can get one of the pump spray bottles. I think those have the, the ones that come with the lids. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, those are easy carry. Throw it in your gym bag. Uh, you can leave it in the console of your car. These are fairly large to kind of leave in the console of your car okay. or put in your gym bag, mm -hmm. you know. But stay fresh, my friends. Stay fresh. And enjoy yoga. Alrighty, that is the end of our show. We got our salt scrubs. Got our sugar scrub and our yoga mat cleaner and car air fresheners. It's your girl, Dr. Carrie and Lolo, the CEO. And this is You, you Can, Can Have, Have It All. All. See you Bye. next time. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share with anyone that needs to be motivated, inspired to believe in themselves. Remember, protect your space, protect your energy, speak your peace, and move on. We'll see you next time.